title in this video you girls gonna be installing this 5 by 5 closure wig that i got from janota hair i'm not really sure that's how to pronounce it but i'll show you guys the name in the next clip y'all i really love this hair it is so freaking pretty and soft y'all and i had put it on some big flexor rods but this side didn't really come out right but this I did and like y'all it is like so pretty. Make sure y'all check my description box for an exclusive code that you guys can use to get money off your wigs from them y'all. I highly recommend you getting your hair from them. I really love their hair y'all. And to say this is my first time ever installing a wig closure anything y'all I really think I did good. Mine is this part but y'all just stay tuned so you guys can watch me install this wig. I love y'all and don't forget to check ooh, don't forget to check the description box for money off Bad bitches in a mess. Rich so many rock them diamonds on me dance. When you working hard, then your money start to spend. I got model bitches wanna make me like some candy. And them drugs come in handy. Last night, savage bitch, but no, I'm not Randy. Hit her with no condom, had to make her eat a plan B. And I'm sipping on that cold D, not brandy. I'm just starting on my ex, bitch. Huh? So hopping straight into the video y'all i'm just going in with some edge control to make sure my edges are all laid back and tucked away before i put on my ball cap So now that my edges is back, y'all, I'm just going in with my ball cap that they sent me. And y'all, I'm not going to even lie, I forgot to cut the ears out. I don't know how, after all of the videos I watched, I literally forgot to cut it out. But I'm going in with my Ebon Lace Bond glue. And y'all, really, next time I think I should use some lace glue because this, y'all, it was entirely too messy. <laughs> And another thing with this Edmund Lace Glue, is y'all could see, it's like you could literally see my edges now. And I feel like that was a red flag number one, but I actually did not have no other like glue or anything to use. So next time I would definitely get glue to use instead of this Edmund Lace Bond. Instead of makeup powder, y'all, I went in with my Edmund lace tint and i got it in the color light warm brown and i feel like the color changed because of the ebb and lace bond glue but whatever <laughs> okay y'all so this is ball cap number two and i actually still have to use the ebb and lace bond glue but as you can see i'm just going in with my eyebrow razor and trying to cut every little piece of ball cap out and as you will see i would just keep messing around with it making sure I get like as close as my edges to possible to not have my forehead full with the ball cap. I really didn't like how that lace tint, well the ebon and the lace tint put together made it kind of white around my hairline. As y'all can see, I feel like that's what caused the lightness at the front of the lace, but it's just something for me to know for next time.
in with a little more glue to make sure that the ball cap is all laid down. And as you can see, I kind of cut it uneven, but y'all, that lace bond glue had my forehead so sticky. That's another reason I would never use it again to install a wig. It was like so messy, y'all. It was just crazy. Now moving on to the lace, y'all. I put some flexor rods in it like two days prior to me taking it down. And this is all the flexor rods I had, so I had to make it work. But y'all, one side came out better than the other side. Y'all see it in the next clip. And y'all just watch me struggle to try to fix it. And heads up, I could not fix it. <laughs> Y'all, this was exactly what I was afraid of, that I would over pluck the wig or pluck it wrong. And that's literally exactly what I did. But I tried to make it work in the end and it kind of was working. Now, y'all, I'm just going in and I had sprayed some of my lace tint and the lace, like just a little bit. And now I'm just putting the lace bun glue on my forehead and I'm getting ready to lay down a wig. And y'all, like I said, this was extremely messy. I was so mad, y'all. It was so messy. Like, I did not expect it to do all of that. By the way, I put two layers of the glue on. I put the first layer on and let it dry completely. And the second layer, I just went in and put the lace on. Now I'm just going in and cutting my lace and since this is a closure wig I really don't have to split it in like three or four different sections I literally just split it down the middle and y'all I really feel like that I will cut the lace before I put the wig on because I see some people do that but I was like no I'm just cut it like most people do but y'all as y'all can see I really was struggling to get that lace off because all of the lace bond glue that was on my forehead the Lace was just thick and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> After cutting as much as the lace off that I could, y'all, I went in with some of my alcohol and tried to get the excess glue off and it really didn't work but now i'm just going in with my elastic band and tying down the lace to make it like melt kind of so while i have the lace melting y'all i'm just going in and combing out my curls and this side actually did not come out right but y'all the curls held so good on the side that actually did come out right like this hair was so soft pretty and i really had no shedding like even when i washed it and everything it was just so pretty y'all i just wish that both my sides came out the same 
I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know what I was doing. I thought I was trying to cut layers in it. As y'all will see, it did not come out right, but actually I'm just going in and cutting some of the hair that I just see that doesn't fit. I'm just going in with my razor to like, so it won't be like so even with the scissors. So now y'all i'm just going in and pulling out my edges i'm not gonna lie this was probably the hardest part and not just because people say edges on the frontal is the hardest i just feel like with me using the lace bond glue it made it harder because my edges were like stiff and like it was just so bad y'all will literally see me keep messing around with the edges so y'all i was going in with my wax stick and just hot combing to give it the flat effect i really feel like next time i install a wig i will get some of the olive oil i really don't know what it's called but i think it's holding spray i'm really not sure y'all but that's what i see some people put on top of their hair instead of the wax stick and i really feel like i would get that next time and now y'all back to this hairline i'm trying to pluck y'all and literally nothing was literally plucking like i don't know why but like i said i really wanted to try the revlon tweezers so next time y'all would definitely see me using those instead of these cheap tweezers that don't do a thing trying to pluck and it wasn't doing anything y'all i actually went in on my flat iron and started to curl my edges and this is when i realized i had too much edges out so y'all would see me keep going in cutting and playing with the edges but i just went in with some of my lottie body mousse to lay them and it was so hard mixing the lottie body with the ebon lace glue that i told y'all was all on my edges but i'm just trying my best to lay the edges and y'all y'all will literally see me keep messing with them like seriously i did not leave them alone even after the video i just kept messing with them I really wanted to cut this part out but I was like no they gotta see this y'all and it was so much more I just didn't include it in a video y'all I'm literally so mad I could not curl my hair for nothing y'all it was not curling I was like oh my god y'all I was so mad like literally I was looking at the side with the curls bright and I'm like oh my gosh y'all I literally was heated when I tell you heated heated so now i'm just going in with my hot comb again y'all and then i'm going to put on my elastic band just to let the lace melt a little bit more we plant inside the piece she not a lesbian for peace she turned lesbian push p push a p on capital p i write the president count presidents push p portuguese on her knees mopping down a p she let me squeeze well, y'all i don't know how i came up with this but i thought i had a brilliant idea to rewrap my hair in a flexi rods and i thought it was gonna come out right but it literally didn't do a thing but i did leave the flexi rods on for like 15 minutes so that's probably why but y'all i'm just still amazed that the curls didn't come out right on that side y'all i was just so mad i'm like oh my god pockets deep got rest on me why they watching me i'm push your pee push your pee push your pee push your pee yeah 
I never, she ready to get in the streets for me, no questions hey, Too rich to text, I lift my shoulder forward Take the P at the F of Bex, try to sort it I'm pushing P, I'm pushing P, I'm pushing P I'm pushing P, I'm pushing P, I'm pushing P I'm pushing P, I'm pushing P, I'm pushing P y'all this is the finished look and i really loved it except the part where you can see the ball cap in the middle but that's fine period y'all it is finally the end of the video and your girl is really like i don't really know how i'm feeling it but i want to give me some colored hair so hopefully i'm trying that out next but y'all the only thing that i didn't like or that i struggled with was when i um plucked the knots i think i plucked this part too much i mean like plucked the lace whatever i pl think i plucked this part too much but i mean it's still good for my first time ever doing a frontal or closure anything so yes y'all definitely will be doing more of these videos so just stay tuned for that y'all as y'all can see i was like struggling i was like bruh <sighs> but your girl made it through and it is really cute i'm loving it y'all this hair is so pretty like i really love it y'all make sure y'all don't forget to click the link down in my description box to go visit their website and also I have a code for y'all to use. So make sure y'all take advantage of that. And so tell me what y'all think about my install, my first install effect. Give me some criticism about what I should do, what I should change. Like y'all, I'm, I'm going to take it all in period. But I love y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Wait, is that how I said? I don't even know how I say my, um, I don't even know how I say my um outro. But I love y'all's, wait. Oh, peace out. How do I forget that? Peace out. I love y'all and thank you for watching. Period. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kissed.